The coast was whipped by gale force winds and drenching rain overnight, or at least that's what Council was pretending as our city was plunged into a mock flood emergency. So, how did we fare? Well, it seems there's work to be done or lives will be lost. While most Gold Coasters were asleep last night, the Mayor was wide awake at the Southport Disaster Management Centre. As our city's disaster management team was put through its paces. Operation Trident, a simulated flood emergency in the Tullabudra Valley. If it's flooded, forget it. And while the wind and rain was very fake, the stress was very real. The lessons invaluable. My attitude is this. This sort of exercise, when, you, when, when a real disaster come, you train and you do this exercise so you, we can get it right. Coming into the season where we can expect storms, it's high time that we actually practice for that. For the most part, the Mayor was pleased with how our city's placed to cope with another Oswald, but thinks our warning system is a little lacking and relies too heavily on the mainstream media. He wants to use social media to get the message out. Information flow, this modern day technology, we've got, it's got to flow much better. When a storm hits, the mayor has access to a detailed flood map showing which creeks and rivers on the coast are at risk of spilling over. He wants to make that map accessible on the internet. Experts say we're now bracing for an El Nino weather pattern and that we could be hit by up to four cyclones this summer. Generally weaker cyclones affect the south but uh, that uh, stronger systems can't be ruled out. So the message, as always, is be prepared. Brendan Wolf, Nine Gold Coast News.